In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with all of you. Good morning, and I welcome you here to our Eucharistic celebration as we celebrate this uh, Tuesday in the 20th uh, a week of uh, ordinary time. Uh, today in the Gospel, uh, Jesus challenges us uh, to, to recognize our inability to save ourselves. And uh, he, uh, he confronts his uh, own disciples in, in saying that, uh, you know, it's impossible. He uses the, uh, uh, the metaphor of trying to pass a camel through the, head, uh, the eye of a needle. And uh, so we come to Mass this morning uh, fully confident uh, in the grace that our God provides for us to be able to uh, do things according to his divine will and in the process, save our souls. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive us our sins. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us all to everlasting life. Let us pray. God of might, giver of every good gift, pour into our hearts the love of your name so that, by the, so that by deepening our sense of reverence, you may nurture in us what is good and by your watchful care, keep safe what you have nurtured. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel. The word of the Lord came to me, son of man, say to the prince of Tyre, thus says the Lord God, because you are haughty of heart, you, uh, you say, I, I, a God am I. I occupy a godly throne in the head of the sea, and yet you are a man and not a God. However, you may think yourself like a god. Oh yes, you are wiser. Oh yes, you are wiser than Daniel. There is no secret that is beyond you. By your wisdom and your intelligence, you have made riches for yourself. You have put gold and silver into the treasuries. By your great wisdom applied to your uh, trading, you have heaped up your riches. Your heart has grown haughty from your riches. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have thought yourself to have the mind of a God, therefore I will bring against you foreigners, the most barbarous of nations. They will draw their swords against you because a beauteous wisdom uh, they shall run, run through the beauteous wisdom, they shall uh, run, run them through your, your splendid apparel. They shall thrust you down into the pit, there to die, a bloodied corpse in the heart of the sea. You will then say, uh, uh, will you then say, I am a god, when you, you, when you face your murderers? No. You are man, not a god. Hand it over to those who will slay you. You shall die the death of the uncircumcised at the hands of foreigners. For I have spoken, says the Lord God. The word of the Lord. The response to our psalm this morning, it is I who deal death and give life. It is I who deal death and give life. I would have uh, said, I will make an end of them and blot out their name from men's memories. Had I not feared the insolence of their enemies, 
feared uh, that their foes would be mistakenly, that they would mistakenly boast. It is I who deal death and give life. Our own hand, uh, our own hand won the victory. The Lord was, uh, had nothing to do with it. For they, were, uh, they are a people devoid of reason, having no understanding. It is I who deal death and give life. How could one man uh, rout a thousand, or two men put 10,000 to flight, unless it was because their rock sold, uh, sold them and the Lord delivered them up? It is I who deal death and give life. Close at hand is the day of their disaster, and their doom is rushing upon them. Surely the Lord will do justice for his people. On his servants he shall have pity. It is I who deal death and give life. Alleluia, alleluia. Jesus Christ became poor, although he was rich, so that by his poverty you might become rich. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with all of you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, Amen, I say to you, it will be hard for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of heaven. Again, I say to you, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for one who is rich to enter the kingdom of God. When the disciples heard this, they were greatly uh, astonished and said, who then can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, for men, this is impossible. But for God, all things are possible. Then Peter said to him in reply, We have given up everything and followed you. What will there be for us? Jesus said to them, Amen, I say to you, that you who have followed me in the new age, when the Son of Man is seated on his throne of glory, will you yourselves sit on twelve thrones? judging the 12 tribes of Israel. For everyone who has given up the houses or brother, has given up houses or brothers or sisters or father or mother or children or lands, for the sake of my name, will receive a hundred times more and will inherit eternal life. But many who are first will be last and the last will be first. The Gospel of the Lord. You and I uh, live in a world where uh, we see extraordinary things every day. And uh, we, uh, we marvel at uh, the, you know, artificial intelligence and the internet. Uh, we marvel at uh, some of the, the medical advances that are taking place within, have taken place within our lifetime. Uh, things that, that are curable today when you and I were young uh, were almost a, a death sentence. We look at the, uh, the achievements in space uh, we, uh, with regard to the space station that, that, that circles our Earth, uh, uh, you know, uh, many times during the course of the day. And we take this all for granted. And people develop the attitude like, you know, we're God. They may not say it in so many words, but they, they have this attitude that there's, there's nothing that they can't solve by themselves. And with that attitude, the problem occurs 
that the deeper questions of life are neglected or ignored. Okay, questions like, why am I here? What is the purpose of my life? What will happen to me when I die, as we all will? These questions, if not answered, make our lives hollow. And we are like that, the, the king of Tyre in our first reading from Ezekiel, who said, you know, I am a god. <coughs> in that particular, with that particular attitude, there's no reason to look for any other assistance because we are self-sufficient. But if we think for a moment, we all realize that we're not. And it is imperative for us to think about these deeper aspects of life, this life that you and I have on this earth, are given to us by our God. And recognizing these, uh, you know, the God who has control of the world, it causes us to humble ourselves and to recognize our inability to save ourselves. Jesus has the answer for us in the gospel that we heard this morning. He is the only one who is able to save us. He is there for us, ready to get, give us all of the things that we need, even to eternal life. I invite you now, please, to pray with me our, uh, our general intercessions. All loving God, we turn to you with our needs, insist, uh, test, uh, trusting in your provident care. For all religious and civil leaders, that they may be granted wisdom to guide, uh, guide your people uh, during this global health crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safeguarding and dignity of all human life, from conception to natural death, including those persecuted because of race, creed, nationality, or lifestyle, we pray to the Lord. For wisdom for all those who work to find a solution for worldwide health problem, uh, issues and for generous open spirits as we adapt to new practices for public safety, we pray to the Lord. For all who strive for peace and justice, may we come to understand that we are brothers and sisters and work toward the, flour uh, the flourishing of all, we pray to the Lord. For all those economically challenged due to the health crisis, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are seriously ill, hospitalized or homebound, we especially remember Father Dan and uh, for um, uh, Warren Helms, and for all those who care for them, especially health care workers, we pray to the Lord. Lord. For all who have died and now live with the Lord, we especially remember all of the deceased members of our parish family, let us pray to the Lord. For the, uh, for the, uh, that through the intercession of Our Lady, we may grow in compassion and announce the good news of salvation and healing on our journey uh, from glory to glory, we pray to the Lord. God of love, confident in your desire to provide, we make, your, we make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. For through your goodness, we have received this bread that we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine that we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands will become for us our spiritual drink. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that our sacrifice will be acceptable to God, our Almighty Father. May the sacred offering, O Lord, confer on us always the blessings of salvation, that what is celebrated in mystery it may accomplish in power. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. <coughs> it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners and he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announces to the world that you are our Father, and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and saints, we exalt and bless your name, and sing the hymn of your glory as without end we now acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, and to be glorified, O God, who love the human race, and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son, present in our midst, when we are gathered by his love, and, one, and, and, and when, when, as once, for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and he breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask you to send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord, Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Again, giving thanks, he gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, 
as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, and whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, and we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor upon the oblation of your church, in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us, and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love, we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis our Pope, Kevin our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, and deacons, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our sisters and brothers, and inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly after the example of Christ and at his command. May your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ and all the dead whose faith is known to you alone. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection, give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever, there in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles, the martyrs, and with all the saints. We shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we now dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant our peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with all of you. Let us share with one another a sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Now we pray the prayer for spiritual communion. In this moment of grace, I make a spiritual communion. I receive with all my mind my, and heart, my body and soul, your real presence. I believe that you are always closer to me than I am to myself, yesterday, today, and forever. May your real presence enable me to be love in action. Amen. Let us pray. Renewed by this bread from the heavenly table, we beseech you, Lord, that being the food of charity, it may conform our hearts and stir us to serve you in our neighbor. And we pray this through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with all of you. May Almighty God bless you, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Our Mass is over. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Have a great day, everyone. Please stay safe.